Yeah. I'm about to go live. There's no table for that in up here, is there? No, it should be here. It's up there? Mm-hmm. Hello. Oh, wait. No, maybe not. Maybe. Hello. Oh, is it that black one? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome. Got it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Hello, Robin. Hello, Kinshan. Hello, Sarah. I am well. I am good. All is well in all of creation. Robin, are you new? Are you new here? So anyone that's new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everybody's day going? How has everyone's day? How has everyone been feeling? What is everyone's emotions? Give me one second. All right. Rough day. Oh, I'm sorry, Stephanie. Robin, will welcome. I am just... Hold on now. Let me stand up and open the window real quick before I burn my house down. Okay. All right. Well, Robin and everyone that's new. Um, I am Jenna Rose Janetti. I am a spiritual and meditation coach and teacher. I am a women empowerment and a trauma and transition coach. I focus on the inner child, sacred sexuality, transitions, trauma healing, all of that beautiful, beautiful stuff. So I welcome everyone that is here today. I welcome you. I cherish you. And I invite you to just come in just as you are, whether you are happy, you are sad, you are frustrated, you are angry. However you're feeling, whatever you're going through, welcome to come in with it. We will hold a loving space for you and all of your feelings and all of your emotions. And today we're just going to go with the flow. Today we'll just go with the flow. I'll see where you guys are at, see what everyone is in need of. We'll have a little bit of conversation, a little bit of a talk. We'll meditate. And before we do all that, we will join together in a beautiful circle. So, let's see what everyone has to say. Stephanie had a lot done. So, you had a rough day. I'm sorry. It's very hot here. It's down to the AC. Yeah, it's hot here too. I would like to feel comfortable and beautiful in my physical body. Oh, well, Mia, you already are. You are already beautiful in your body. And now it's time to just walk into it. Walk into that beautiful body. Walk into that beautiful body and be comfortable in it. I invite you and anyone that's struggling with, you know, self-confidence. First off, know that it is normal. Know that um, you are not alone in that. And I invite you real quick to... Um, Just close down your eyes and um, just imagine, Mia, imagine your body. And anybody can do this. Just imagine your body and imagine just the feeling of being comfortable. Feel into that feeling of comfort. Feel into the knowing of your authentic self. Your authentic curves, your beautiful smile, your eyes, and just simply do a body scan right now, Mia, and anyone else that is struggling with your body. Doing a body scan with a light, and moving that light down your whole entire being. And I invite everyone to just do a simple body scan to just come back to your body. And move that light from the crown of your head down to your eyes, your nose, your neck, your shoulders, your chest, your stomach, your pelvis, your legs, all the way down to your feet. And feel the feeling of comfort. 
imagine yourself sitting on a comfy couch or laying in a comfy bed. Imagine yourself being in an environment where you feel comfortable to be yourself, express yourself, and feel that feeling of comfort and allow that feeling of comfort to move through your whole entire body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Just move that feeling of comfort into your body, Mia, and anyone. And then feel into the feeling of beauty. Feel into what it feels to experience beauty. Imagine a beautiful flower. And notice its beauty. Imagine a beautiful person in which you identify as beautiful and feel this feeling of beauty. Picture a beautiful environment, a country, a place, and feel into this feeling of beauty. And then allow this feeling of beauty to melt into your whole entire body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and allow this feeling of beauty to radiate your whole body and then feel into the feeling of comfort radiating in your body and then feel into the feeling of feeling comfortable and feeling beautiful in your body. And finally, if you need a little extra boost, imagine yourself staring in front of a meal, feeling comfort and beauty. And then imagine yourself stepping into the meal, taking a step into being comfortable in your body and being comfortable and beautiful in your being, your soul, your mind. And then open your eyes. And let me know how you feel, Mia. <laughs> so whenever you are feeling a little out of sorts, just step into your body. Just step into it. Allow whatever feeling that you want to feel to radiate your whole being. You know, so, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, if you're feeling angry and you don't want to be angry, Feel into the vibration of happiness. Think about a puppy that makes you happy. Think about a place or a memory that makes you happy. Allow that happiness to radiate throughout your body. You know, just like this, Mia, allowing that comfort and that beauty to radiate your whole entire body. Um, So I'm going to invite everyone to close down your eyes one more time. And let's just join together in circle. So if you're new here, I always, um, I always welcome everyone to join hands in a beautiful circle and unite us all together as if we are really in each other's physical realities. So I invite you to just close down your eyes for just a moment and just anchor in that beautiful light that we just talked about. And feel that light moving from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And feel that whole light just filling up your whole entire body. And then imagining in your third eye, in your pineal gland, that spot right between your brows, see all of us united together. See everybody gathered in a beautiful circle, coming together for community, coming together for healing, coming together for love, coming together for unity, coming together for celebration. And then start to grab hands with everybody in the circle as if we are really in each other's presence right now, holding hands. And creating a safe circle, a circle of safety, a circle of protection, a circle of vulnerability, of honesty, of trust, a circle of respect. And then start to just move that light that you anchored into your own body and move that light throughout the whole circle. Lighting up every single beautiful soul that's here right now. Lighting up the lives of 
each and every person and creating a space in the circle for more people to come if they tr trickle in a little bit later and just creating this safe circle light up the whole circle like a beautiful sun healing us renewing us connecting us and loving us and then when you are ready you may slowly open up your eyes placing your hands together and you can choose to continue to hold hands with everybody or just come back to your own sovereignty so welcome 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 everyone I am Jenna Rose Gennetti. I am a spiritual and meditation teacher. I am a women empowerment coach, a spiritual awakening coach, and a trauma and transformation coach. Um, so I welcome you. I thank you for all joining. I really set the intention before I go live to just hold loving space for each and every person that's here. So I welcome everyone to just come as you are. Come with whatever you are feeling. Come with whatever you are experiencing. And know that it is welcome you. Know that I know the beautiful roller coasters of life. And I honor the sunny days as much as I honor the rainy days. So today we will just go with the flow. I invite you to use the chat box. Let me know where you guys are at. What you're feeling what you're experiencing in your reality, any questions you have, and then I will be here to just talk about it, explore with you guys, love on you guys most importantly, and then lead you guys into a beautiful meditation at the end. So let me know what you guys are in need of. Um, Sarah, I am back in Pennsylvania. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I guess that's thanks for the love I guess that's the beauty of life is um, sometimes you don't know what you're doing <laughs> and you're just melting into the beautiful moment allowing the universe and spirit to guide you uh, where I'm at in my life is I'm trying to let go of control <laughs> Let me know if anyone has been there before. But what I'm working on right now, what I'm trying to heal is letting go of control. Letting go of the idea that I know what's best for me. I think so much, so often in our lives, we think we know what's best for ourselves. And when we think we know what's best for us, we don't leave room for the universe, God, spirit, the higher dimensions to show us what's best for us. We might have a good idea of what we think is best for us, but there's beautiful other perspectives in this universe. So right now in my life, I'm trying to just stay open and allowing the universe to show me where I need to be. <laughs> So I'll keep you guys updated when I figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> Until then, I'm happy and I'm healthy and I'm living in the moment and I'm trusting the path and I'm trusting the universe. So where is everybody else at? How are you guys feeling today? What are you guys experiencing? What would you like to talk about today? <sighs> Oh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I um, I feel the same for each and every one of you. And I, I really feel like it's getting out of your own way. You know, it, sometimes we literally have to move out of our own way. And we can picture this as like a, tra like a traffic guard trying to stop us from moving forward, right? And sometimes you just have to move. <laughs> it, sound, it sounds silly, but I think a lot of times in our life, we're the reasons for the blockage in the road. 
right? Well, the reason for the red lights in traffic. And sometimes we need to just decide that we need a green light and we're going to go for the green light. Does that make sense? Am I talking in circles? <sighs> but everything is good. I am happy. Um, but I did, I did come back to Pennsylvania. Um, I mean, for right now, it is my home. And I went home last week, and I explored my roots. And I went back to the womb. And now it's back to getting back to business. <laughs> getting back to my career and my job. I, I want to say hello to whoever was here. Hello, Connecting You. Hello, Mary Kay. Hello, Tanya. Hello, Terilyn. Hello, Kanshan. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Forgive me. Hello, Justice Matters. Hello, Diana. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Lindsay. Hello, Dee. Hello, Linda. Hello, Emily. Hello, Mia. Hello, Linda. Hello, Rosa. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Tanley. Hello, B. Hello, Levi. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Adrida. Hello. I think I said hello to everyone now. Yay! All right. So today is Tuesday. I want to hear your guys' praise. I want to hear about the small to big praises in your life. I want to hear about the celebrations in your life. So often our life, we're only focused on the big things that we are proud of. And we don't focus enough on the small things. And it's those small little praises that make up and bring us closer to the big things, the big goals, the big intentions, the big dreams. So I want to hear in the comments below anything that you are proud of right now. Anything that happened today or yesterday that we can all congratulate you on. I just had an amazing dinner. I am praising the dinner that I had. The gratitude that I felt. With that being said, as I praise you guys, I'm going to pull out a tarot card. 28 years today, I gave birth to my oldest child. Yay! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to your, your oldest child. That's exciting. Congratulations. Isn't motherhood beautiful? Yay! It's so exciting. I've been working hard at being mindful and staying present. Yes! Melting pot. Melting pot. I think we got this card before. Melting pot is all about all of us coming together in community. And all of us different. All of us celebrating our differences together. Earth is nothing more than a melting pot. America is nothing more than a melting pot of different cultures, different religions, different beliefs. Hello, Sheeta. Hello, hello, hello. It's a melting pot. This is a powerful card. And whenever... So I love this deck. This is um, a Galactic Heritage deck. And this recognizes all of us coming together in community, in celebration for one another, kind of breaking down the borders of what's going on. Ooh, Embracing Family just fell out too. That's kind of self-explanatory of... What we're doing right now is we're connecting in family. We're connecting in community. We're connecting in love and family. We are creating a family on Insight Timer. We are creating a community of beautiful light workers. We are creating 
a community of beautiful people coming together for mindfulness, for meditation, for community, for goodness. I'm going to pull one more. They're going to fall down. It's fine. <laughs> I just place it down. I want to keep hearing those praises. Let me hear those praises. Let me celebrate you. Let me love on you. Yes, I'm back in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, I'm back in Pennsylvania. And like I had said before, I'm trusting the universe to show me where I'm supposed to go and where I'm supposed to be. And I'm trying to let go of my own sense of control. I'm trying to let go of my ego. I think in our lives we allow our ego and what we think we want to guide us. And that's why meditation is so powerful because when we, are, when we silence our mind, um, it, it allows us to remind ourselves who we really are what we really want and it was time for me to go home I was in Michigan for anyone that was asking I went home last week um, for my roots to go back to my roots to go back to the room to get a beautiful lesson and um, you know I expressed with you guys last week um, and yesterday too because I was live with you guys yesterday um, well, last week was pretty much all about going back to our roots. We talked about, I had expressed to a few guys that I was going back for a lesson. I was going back for a remembrance of who I am. And the lesson that I learned in Michigan was many <laughs> Um, but one of the main reason, main lessons that I learned was who I want to be and who I don't want to be. And it's a powerful choice that we always have. We always have the choice of who we want to be. I think certain things are set in stone, obviously. Um, and the things that are set in stone, we need to embrace those. But for the most part, we get to choose who we want to be. We get to choose what we want to represent, how we want to represent, how we want to express ourselves in our lives. And we may not have control over the world around us. We may not even have control over ourselves half the time. But we get to choose how we react to every given situation. And so when I was, I got both an expansion. So when I was in Michigan, um, I, I literally went back to my both. And I reminded myself of who I want to be and who I don't want to be. Um, I went back to a beautiful park in Michigan that I had my spiritual awakening. Uh, and I learned meditation at and I sat there on the new moon and I meditated and I grounded myself and reminded myself of where I came from, why I was here, what I want for my life, what I don't want for my life. And I vowed to allow spirit, source, consciousness to show me, show me the truth, show me the, the highest potential of where I'm going, considering all that I want. And that's my advice for everyone, is to just sometimes get out of your own way. Um, so yeah. Anyone else? Enough about me. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Let's do a little feeling check-in. Maybe we'll start the meditation a little early. Uh, oh, both in expansion. I'll read this card. How is everyone feeling? How is everyone's emotions today?
Hi from Sydney, Australia. It's Wednesday morning here. I've been meditating recently on and off. You just spoke in, on what you've spoken about. I'm struggling from my purpose. Ah, yes, that is beautiful. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So to find your purpose, you have to first know who you are or a rough, a rough idea of who you are. Um, I led a discussion yesterday on Insight Time about finding yourself and how to find yourself again. Um, and I had given the advice or tools of, um, what did I talk about? I talked about so much stuff. It's now on my YouTube, Polly. I'm going to invite you to just go and find um, that YouTube. And it was all about how to find yourself again. Um, and often in our lives, we are constantly picking up and throwing away parts of ourselves. And often in our lives, as we're going through a transition point in our lives, we have to let go of everything that we think we are to then pick up who we really are. And so on the path of trying to find your purpose, your purpose is whatever you want your purpose to be. You know, I think overall, you know, we romanticize this idea of what is my purpose? What is my purpose on this earth? And it may sound sad and it may sound, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I forgot the word I'm looking for. Not sad, but what I'm trying to, dark? Not dark, but. We get to choose what our purpose is. You know, life and coming into life is like a blank slate. It's like a blank piece of paper. And we get to decide what our purpose is. You know, I sit here and I teach meditation and I motivate you guys. And I could say that I was meant to do this. That this is my purpose. My purpose is to meditate and teach others to meditate and motivate all of you guys. But what I truly believe my purpose really is, is just to love. And my purpose is no different than your purpose, Polly. You're also designed and here to love. But then you ask yourself the question of, what's your greatest excitement? And that's what I would ask you to ponder is, what is your greatest excitement? And your greatest excitement will always lead you right to the purpose that you desire to have on this earth. Find your greatest excitement. What excites you the most? What makes you light up like a light bulb? What makes you light up in ways that nothing else does? What makes you smile? What makes you laugh? Rosa, yeah. So Rosa could say that her purpose is her family. Stephanie is normal. I just read you're anxious. Um, You know, I think sometimes when we're anxious too, we're not, there's so much that we pick up on that's not even our own energy. And a lot of times we're anxious, not even for our own reasons, but because we're picking up on the collective consciousness. Yes. Yes. Good, Polly. I'm glad that resonated. And birth and expansion, that's the card we got, was rebirth yourself over and over and over again. And what your purpose is today does not have to be what your purpose is tomorrow. My purpose on Saturday was to be a wedding planner. I was at a wedding I have a wedding planning business. And so my purpose for that day was to set everything up, get everything situated for the married couple. That was my purpose for the day. My purpose today was to try to work through some, you know, big emotions and feelings and continue to be the best version of myself. So our purpose really is a day-by-day process. 
what your purpose is today may not be what your purpose is tomorrow. Be easy on yourself. Okay. Anyone else? Does anyone have any questions? I think I want to stop the meditation early. My heart's happy, guys. I have a happy heart right now. I feel like um, everything's coming together. And, you know, it's funny because a lot of times we don't know why we do the things that we do in our life. And the universe pro provides a way to always show us the reason later on. So my biggest advice today for anyone is just trust the universe. Trust God. Trust the higher self. Trust that they know the way. Because they always will know the way. They, him, her, energy, whatever. Believe in a higher power. So anyone that's new here today, I am Jenna Rose Janetti. Um, I am a meditation spiritual teacher, women empowerment coach. And um, yeah, I just welcome everyone here. I welcome you guys for your comments and your love and your support. And I ask you if you are new here to please make sure to follow me. Comment below what you think. I love communication, and I'm ready to meditate. Are you guys ready to meditate? I think I'm going to just dive right into meditation. Um, with that being said, is there anything specific that anyone wants for meditation today? Is there anything that you guys need to work through? Hmm... Gaia, you are not alone in those traumas. And, you know, traumas are like, they're like scars that never go away. And the pain can heal. Just like the scar, you know, the scar healed. It's no longer an open wound. But you're still left with that scar. And, you know, as a trauma coach, I always tell my clients to turn their wounds into wisdom. I'm sure you guys have heard me say that before. But turn your wounds into wisdom. Take the trauma that you've endured in your life and turn it into your message for the world. Our biggest traumas, our biggest pains, our biggest worries, our biggest struggles end up being our, not catapult, I'm stumbling on my word, but it ends up being our motivation to move forward in our lives. And sometimes there's nothing like trauma to move us into a different reality, to move us into a new time and space. Um, I'll give you an example. If it wasn't for my childhood trauma, and I had a lot of childhood trauma, which is why I'm now a trauma coach. Um, because of my childhood trauma, it forced me out of my comfort zone to always travel, to always explore. And from one person's lens or perspective, I might have been trying to escape. I might have been running away from my problems. I may have been running away from the things in my reality. But from my perspective, only in me traveling was I able to heal my trauma. Because once I was able to visit, you know, other countries like China and Taiwan and Italy and Africa, was I able to get a different perspective on the world and see different forms of trauma and start to heal my own trauma by having gratitude that I didn't have other types of trauma. And as far as illness, every physical element, every physical illness that we have 
has a mental, emotional, spiritual reason behind it. Um, If we have back pain, you know, it symbolizes that we are carrying too much. If we have something occurring with our feet or our toes, it may be that we're not grounded enough and we need to ground into the floor. Um, You know, if we're having some kind of pain in our chest, near our heart, that may mean that our heart chakra is, you know, overly... um, active or underly active so when it comes to illness and physical illness emotional illness mental illness i invite you and i invite everyone to speak to that illness speak to the part of your body that is experiencing the illness and it may sound silly but ask it why are you here what have you come to teach me and if you start to shift your attention from this is here to hurt me and this is here to cause me pain to this is here to help me to alert me of a deeper problem then the pain starts to go away because the minute that you turn your pain into ah what are you trying to teach me why are you here is the minute that you can get the message for why it's here and then you can start to heal it on emotional mental spiritual level and then it will naturally heal on the physical because everything shows up physically on our body as a wake-up call to then do the healing um connecting you stillness and isolation in some sort as well medicine for trauma yeah stillness and isolation in some sort as well yeah it can be it definitely 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 because when you are quiet when you and i talked about this yesterday when you what did i call it yesterday i called it um i can't remember what i called it now i'm blanking i had written notes before i led my discussion yesterday Um, but i can call it like the monkey mind right now our monkey mind is like filled with like the the trauma the pain And only when we're in silence, only when we can isolate from the world, can we start to heal what's going on around us. Quieting the noise. You know, quieting the noise around us. Quieting the trauma. Quieting the pain. And then coming into stillness. Coming into silence. And allowing it to speak to us. So that we can then find the answers later on. Does that make sense? I love isolation. (laughs) Anything else? Gaia and connecting with you. Did that did that um did that resonate for you guys? Yes. Good. All right, guys. Well, I am ready to meditate. I'm just going to channel, see what comes up in the meditation today. I am in need of a little bit of silence myself today. Um, It's been a beautiful day. It's been a great day. Um, But it's been emotionally um, exhausting. It's been good. But it's been emotionally exhausting. So I am excited to just be in stillness and, and silence. All right, guys, so uh, anyone that is new, I always do a little bit of an introduction at the beginning of the meditation and a conclusion at the end because I record all of these. I record the video and I post on YouTube and then I record the audio and I will then put it back on Insight Timer. Um, I'm a little behind in posting all of my, my audios on Insight Timer, but um, it will get done. If it's good, it will get posted. I try to only post the best meditations. So, all right, guys, let's get started. And then if we have time, we may conclude a little early today, maybe not. All right, I'm going to play some music. Let me know how the music sounds. Let me know if you can hear the music. 
If you can't hear the music, I cannot hear the music right now for some reason. Can you guys hear the music? Nope, me neither. I can't hear the music either. Try one more time. <laughs> Mr. Technology just came in to try to fix the music. Is it playing out of the laptop? It says it was playing. Here, un unplug that cord. This one? Yeah, see if it's coming out. Everyone thank Levi for his... Oh. Okay, plug it back in. <laughs> I don't know what I do without him. Okay, and then maybe we just need to hit that. Can you guys hear the music now? He sounds human. He's not human. Okay, it's loud. That was loud. That's real loud. Okay. okay. Alright, great. <laughs> Le thanks. Levi's a little bit of a robot. <laughs> Oh God! All right, guys. All right, here we go. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome, welcome to another beautiful meditation with yours truly. I am Jenna Rose Gennetti. I am a spiritual and meditation teacher. I am a trauma transition and love coach. I focus on the inner child, healing trauma, sacred sexuality, spiritual awakening, and so much more. I welcome you now to please just sit down and start to close down your eyes, finding a spot where you will not be disturbed, where you can focus inwardly on yourself, drowning out the world around you. And close down your eyes and start to take a beautiful deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathing in, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Breathing in, silencing your mind, breathing out, letting go of the day, emotions, the feelings. Continuing to breathe in the vibration of love and breathe out any negativity, any anger, any frustration. Continuing to breathe in through your nose, expanding your belly and breathing out, letting everything go. Where there's nowhere to be, nowhere to go, nothing to do but simply be present in this moment. So relax deeper, falling deeper and deeper into this moment, into solitude, into silence to love and continuing to take one more deep breath into your nose setting the intention for today in this meditation holding the breath and then breathing out if you so choose you may call on any guides, any angels, any beings, 
for your idols to be present with you in your healing and your transformation in the discovery of who you are and start to bring your awareness inwardly letting go of the body letting go of your skin letting go of the outward perspective of who you are bring your awareness inward going deeper underneath the perspective of who you are going deep inside your body bringing awareness to inside your body to all of the functions atoms, the molecules, the cells of your body, bring your awareness inward into your mind, your brain, become aware of the internal you in a way you haven't before. And then bring your awareness one step deeper. Bring your awareness even more inwardly, outside of your skin, outside of your body, deeper inside your body, to your organs. to your cells, to your molecules. And then going one step deeper, seeing the inwardness and becoming aware of what lies even more deep inside you. The nature of who you really are Who are you deep within yourself? Who is yourself? Who is the I that heals this meditation? And then bringing your awareness even deeper inside you, one more layer deeper until you're completely melting not being able to tell your nose from your toes. Becoming aware of the other layer of the internal you. Healing the entity of you on a soul level, on a spiritual level, on an emotional level, on a mental level, and on a physical level. Feel these different levels of the internal you. and bringing your awareness even deeper now. Focusing your awareness even more inwardly, deep within you, as far as you can go. Imagining you like those little black dolls 
that you would open up as a child. And as you opened up one of the dolls, there was another miniature doll inside. And then you opened up that other doll, taking it apart. And there was another doll inside, opening up another doll. And then there was another doll inside. That magical Tao set that as you shed one layer, one Tao, within it was another Tao, another beautiful wood toy. And to finally you got to the center. And the center was the final smallest doll. Bring your awareness to how this symbolism of this doll is you. For deep inside your external outer form, the part of you that you show the world is but another you. And inside that you is 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 another you and it continues and continues and continues for you are so deep there are many layers of you feel the deepness of who you really are and ask yourself who am I really? And listen for the answer. At the core of you, is who, who is you? Allow that you, that central you, that central doll of the Russian doll to rise up to meet the external you. And slowly but surely, once you have found the center of you and all of your many layers, your many forms, your many yous, start to bring your awareness outwardly again at the core of you Bring your awareness one step more outward. Moving outwardly. And then moving your awareness out one more layer. and bringing your awareness out again. Bringing your awareness outward towards the spirit of who you are. Bringing your awareness outward more, one more layer to the soul of who you are. Bringing it 
one more layer to the emotions that you are bringing your awareness outwardly to the mind that you are bringing your awareness back to your organs your cells your molecules bringing your awareness outwardly once more noticing the person that sits here today in your skin in your body and bring your awareness outward once more to mate with every single person that is here today joining us in meditation bringing your awareness once more to the whole state that you are in the province that you are in noticing the largeness of who you are bringing love and light moving outward one more time moving out through the country that you are sending love and light and healing that everyone shall know who they really are and then moving outwardly again bringing awareness to the whole entire world every person every animal every plant and start to become aware that all of these layers internally and externally are all you for nothing and no one is separate from you and bringing your awareness one more layer externally throughout the whole entire universe through the ethos space And finally, bringing your awareness outwardly once more to everything that is, everything that exists and doesn't exist, all that we perceive and can't perceive. And feel the oneness in the external reality as well as the internal reality. And become aware that all of this is you. That you are one with all creation. And start to give gratitude for all of these many layers of you. Gratitude for your life on this earth. For the planet. For the existence of all. And staying here as long as you need. And when you're already starting to skate back to this middle version of you. The version of you that has an internal realm deeper than the soil underneath you and an external realm that is higher and more expansive than the sky above you. Bring your awareness back to this middle singularity point that we call you Singularity You. For you are simply at a point in your existence, in the middle 
of the external and the internal at the point of zero. Always able to start over and start again, heal and transform. And start to bring your awareness to your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Having gratitude for that beautiful breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Starting to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Coming back to your body. Noticing what you can heal. Noticing what you can smell. Noticing what you can taste. Noticing what you can feel. And finally, opening up your eyes and noticing what you can see. Smiling back at me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. May you continue to become aware of the many aspects of you, the many internal and external realities, forms of you. For you are much more than you believe. You are much more than you think. You are much more than society, the world, and others perceive you to be. For you are a multi-dimensional, beautiful light worker that has come here for this time and space to awaken reality to much more than this small version of ourselves that we show people. I wish you transformation. I wish you a powerful spiritual awakening journey. I wish you healing of all of your trauma and realizing that you are much bigger and much smaller than the trauma that you hold. You are bright, you are beautiful, and most importantly, you are loved. If you enjoyed this meditation and you are interested in connecting deeper with me, connecting deeper into your journey of awakening, transforming and healing your trauma, reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Feel free to donate leaving any donations if this meditation resonated with you and helped you in any way for with every donation it helps me to continue to provide more service more healing more learning for you and the collective and everyone that listens i welcome you to please comment below your thoughts your feelings your experiences of this meditation and I thank you so much for joining in your evolution. I welcome you. I love you. And I will see you again next time. Have a beautiful day. All right. Hello, beautiful souls. We are back. I'm going to save this meditation. What did you guys think of that meditation? How did you feel? Did that resonate with you guys? Did that not resonate with you guys? Did you feel the peace? Did you feel the transformation? Did you feel the love? Did you feel the healing?
was beautiful. I saw my inner dial, my chorus light that came through all the layers. Yay! You're welcome, Polly. What is that dial card? Is it the Russian? It, what is that dial card? Is it the Russian dial? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's like, um, I couldn't remember the name of that. It's that dial that, like, Russian. I'm going to look this up. It's that, like, dial that, like, goes within each other. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? That Rush, yeah, Russian dials. That's what it's called, Russian dials. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I need one. It's so powerful. I need to buy my niece one. Yes. Yes, they get smaller and smaller and bigger and bigger. I wish I could, like, um, set, put a picture in here. But I can't. <laughs> hmm. Yay. All right, guys. Well, I welcome you. I thank you for joining today. I thank you for joining in on this meditation. If you are healing from big trauma, if you are in a transition point in your life and you are struggling getting over your trauma, overcoming your past, your childhood, the pain, the abusive relationship, I invite you to please reach out to me for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Also, anyone that um, is interested in healing sexual trauma, cutting cords, has experienced you know, health problems, mental blocks, depression, anxiety, um, can't seem to manifest the love of their life, can't seem to find a relationship, um, if any of this sounds like you, it is possible that you have some sexual cord blockages. And what that means is that every person that we are sexually involved with, we create a invis an invisible cord with them that connects us with them. Every time we um, are sexually active with someone, we are exchanging energy is sexual energy, and sexual energy is the most powerful energy in the world. And so through, you know, sex, we are giving and we are taking of those energies. And when we go through a breakup, we never think about giving back sexual energy. We think about giving back their clothes and their items, but we don't think about giving back their energy. And if we don't give back their energy, then what happens is it starts to create disease, illness, just depression, um, virus in our body. It creates blockages for love, money blocks, health blocks, um, weight stored on our belly. All of that, it creates blockages in our body because the energy that's stored in our body doesn't belong to our body. So then our body doesn't know how to do with it. So I have created a course and in healing all of these energies to heal you from your depression, from the traumas of your past, um, helping you to you know manifest the money, the love, just removing those blockages. Um, so if this sounds like you, I recommend that you reach out to me and I can give you all the information for the course on how to heal these blockages and transform your life. And Polly, thank you, thank you, thank you for that donation. I seen that, I experience it, I feel it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful for that. That really helps me. It helps me to continue to do what I'm doing today. It helps to know that I'm making a powerful difference in this world and that I'm doing my purpose, my passion, my love. So thank you. And all right, guys, I thank you guys for today. Again, I am Jen Rose Gennetti. I am a meditation spiritual teacher, transformative trauma coach, women empowerment coach, love coach. All those things are my specialty. So I invite you guys to just close down your eyes for one minute. And imagine all of us united in a circle as we began. See, everybody gathered in a beautiful circle right in front of us and start to see it's all holding hands start to become aware of how the circle grew in our time together 
and start to just close down this circle. Thanking everybody for joining. Thanking everyone for coming as their beautiful, vulnerable self. Thank them for just holding loving space for you as you continue to move through your transformation. And then bow your heads down and saying namaste. For my soul recognizes your soul, that we are one soul in many bodies. And if anyone is not following me, please make sure to follow me. I go live every Monday through Friday, and I have lots of yummy meditations. So bye, guys. Have a beautiful night. I love you.